Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this boolean function and we have been asked to find in a simplified form how this function can be represented. So let us see that. So here, this is the function f which is given to us in the question. And as you can see over here, this function is given to us in the POS form that is the product of some form. So here, we can simplify this function by using the k map. And for that, first of all, let us find the f bar. So here, we can find this f bar by using the De Morgan's law. That means here, if we take the bar of this entire function, then we will get this f bar. So this f bar will be equal to u dot v dot w dot x plus u dot v dot w dot x bar plus u dot v bar dot w dot x plus u dot v bar dot w dot x bar and as you can see this f bar is now in the SOP form. So now let us represent all the main terms corresponding to this f bar in this k map. So here this first term corresponds to m15 because here both u and v as well as w and x are 1. So here we will represent this term by the 0. Well why 0? Because in this expression of f if we put the value of this u, v, w and x as 1 then the value of this function f will be equal to 0. So that is why here we are representing as the 0. So likewise this second term corresponds to m14 because here the value of u and v is equal to 1 while the w and x corresponds to 1 0. Similarly this third term corresponds to m11 because here the value of w and x is equal to 1 while the u is 1 and the v is 0. Similarly if we see the fourth term then that corresponds to m10. Because here, once again, the value of u and v is equal to 1, 0. And similarly, the value of the w and x is also equal to 1, 0. That means in this k map, these four terms can be represented like this. So now, we can simplify this Boolean expression by making the group of all these main terms. So here, if you observe, then here, we can make the group of these four main terms. And if you see over here, then this group corresponds to u dot w because in this group the value of u is not changing and similarly the value of w is also not changing and therefore this group corresponds to u dot w. So basically in this way we got the boolean expression for the f bar and that is equal to u dot w but actually we need the expression for the f. So for that once again, let us take the invert of this f bar and that is equal to u dot w whole bar and as you know that corresponds to u bar plus w bar. That means this function f can be simplified as this u bar plus w bar. That means here the simplified boolean expression of the function f is equal to u bar plus w bar and here as you can see from the given options this a corresponds to u bar plus w bar because in this option a these two not gates inverts the input u and w and through the or gate we will get this u bar plus w bar and therefore we can say that for the given question this a is the correct answer.